Hey, I'm Dana. A wife to that handsome guy right there. Boy mom to the most precious little human. But most of you guys are here because, yup, that's me. An entrepreneur, the queen of content. I founded and have the honor of leading an extraordinarily successful beauty company. But I don't just build companies. I've been called to teach this generation how to build a life they love. Welcome to the life of Dana Chanel. Good morning, Miss Chanel. Stop it. So, already got done. I look nice. Yeah. I'm got the same color shirt on my dad. You're watching the live? Yeah. Ah, that was so good. Already did our five o'clock meeting. Already did our live hair makeup done. Went through the day. About to run into our morning meeting with Curl Bible and see what's on the schedule for the day. Because it is going to be crazy. All right, who wants to pray it in today? Father God, we humbly come before you and ask that you forgive us for our sins. We want to say thank you so much for waking us up this morning. Yes. Um, just to have another day to be here. So today we just want to ask you for a few things. But first, just thank you so much for the blessings that we've received. Um, even though we don't know sometimes that we need them. So today we just want to ask for safety blessings um, as we yes. travel home. Um, anyone else traveling to the office. Um, some healthy blessings, of course, so that way we fight whatever is going on out there. And then, um, of course, because this is a business and we are working some productivity, so just make sure that um, we are selling product, but also um, just getting the result that we need. We have a lot of things going on today, so we want to make sure that everyone stays focused, um, and then we can just do what we need to do individually and collectively. Again, God, we appreciate um, everything that you've done for us this far, and we just ask for um, continued blessings. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, um, so really really good news we already have subscriptions ah! i am so excited so y'all remember when we were talking about it yesterday the issue is is that um, when we're building out infrastructure to go ahead and promise the ability to ship out this product on a consistent basis our vendors had to get used to the pace and the tone in which how many how much units we were moving and unfortunately because our vendors are more on the small business side of things they had to adjust over the last year when it came to um when it came to how much product they should be sending us how much they could allocate remember working on a 90 day net so these are things that they really had to figure out and we're even realizing speaking to the vendors now it's um they're adjusting a lot more quickly now one because we gave them the expectation and two because we know our numbers now we see at the the, the pace of what we're growing at and so i'm really excited we launched it yesterday and that's what's so beautiful about where we are right now is that when we think of an idea, when we have it, we can immediately implement it and see if it works or not. We don't have to go through millions and millions and millions of approval. Can we do this? Can we do that? Can No, we're the approval. And so I just encourage y'all, it took one idea to literally create an entirely new different stream of revenue where it is promised income in, in next month. You know what I mean? And that's the goal is how do we continue to create these customers into clients we know what the people want we're young we're millennials we're the actual customers that 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 we're trying to sell to and so i encourage you think big like i'm i'm, I'm willing to fight for you i'm willing to run with you like let's give it a try what's going to stop us we don't got to an answer to nobody let's give it a try so if you have ideas let's give it a try Penelope with the sale, let's give it a try. It's only when I'm like, okay, girl, that's not gonna work. I know for a fact because of data and analytics that I'm gonna say, hey, like, no, sis, like, think of something else. But guys, I'm willing to go to bat for y'all. I wanna try it. You have an idea, I wanna try it. I'm willing, I'm, I'm willing to be your actress. I'm willing to be your mouthpiece. I'm willing to be your, your content. Whatever y'all need, let me know. And I will go to bat for whatever idea that you have, okay? Because they're working. They are working, and I'm super proud and super happy of that. These are the what lashes? Melanie. Ooh. Ready? Look. All right, who's ready to be cute? And look how fire flame. You are the star of the show. Thank you. Yeah, so look, this is how it's gonna go, ready? 
usually this is really different for a lot of people. They've never been in front of like the camera and like taking a bunch of pictures. But my number one thing is I want you to be confident, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna be here with you the entire step of the way. Because if you look good on camera, that makes me look good. Okay. Alright, cool. And so we're gonna switch it up just a little bit. Um, we're gonna take so many that like legit you're gonna you're gonna find ones you love, okay? okay. So we're gonna take some with your jacket on, with your jacket off, some cute baby bumpers too. Okay, okay cool. so we're gonna do everything. Alright, alright. I'm in the big leagues, totally don't miss me. Ballin' like Houston, hey, feeling like Whitney. I need a bag, bruh, send it through quickly I'm making his dog, like I'm in the big lease Told him that I gotta go, dog. I'm riding the road, y'all I think that I'm back in my bag now, so I need that go, y'all Got his when they bright, throw bright in the red, like you want more of It's like a, a, um, like a, what would you call it? Like a picket red friend, fence, like, not bright red, yeah, it but like a bright red, but yeah, it's, it's like a shade of red Yeah, yeah, for you know? sure And it's only 15 bucks it's already pinned here. You guys know the drill. If you're watching, you know you can shop directly from this live. Tap it, put it in the cart. People are asking me what am I wearing, but I'm actually wearing the No Limits lip gloss. Unfortunately, it is out of stock because y'all are psycho crazy and we love y'all for it. But we know when we deal with y'all, things don't stay in stock for very long. So, like I'm saying, we're you're talking about this, so I would encourage before this gets out of stock, you want to go grab this, okay? But she's going to be putting this on today. And she's gonna be putting on some lashes. She's gonna give you such a cute tutorial, but she was looking so cute over here and a little confused. I was like, hey, what are you doing? Let me join your live. Okay, bye guys. Bye. All right. Um, we don't need anything else, right? We gotta get out of here. Where's Don? Um, they're shooting us Okay, so let's start heading that way. Do you see the seven-year-old kind of almost mimicking you? I remember my little sister, right? She would legit be um, at the desk and sometimes when the phone rang, she'll pretend she was answering and it's like, hi, because at this point in time, we owned a um, children's entertainment company. Mm -hmm. It's like, hi, okay, what are you looking for? A cotton candy machine or popcorn machine or a bouncing castle? What do you need? Do you see the seven-year-old kind of like watching what you're doing when it comes the to building your business? The three-year-old does. Okay. Like we're at the, um, I, uh, I have a small office space, so uh, sometimes I go in there and have appointments. One day we was in there in the calculator, she just tapping it. I said, Samara, what you doing? I'm doing tax. I said, you're going to do my taxes? She's like, how much you want? <laughs> and I was like, oh, no, that's not <laughs> How much you want? How much you want? I wish it was like that. <laughs> I was like, girl, we're like, we going to jail if we do that. <laughs> that's hilarious. How much you want? <laughs> Like I'm on my tiptoes, baby, you think a little too Wow, that was like absolutely gorgeous. Let me get a closer up. Look, I just need the info. Pronto, I go and get it and split it with my kinfolk daily. And thumb up with the other hand. Yeah, perfect. Here's the number, on you. Yeah, that's how you react. You're so amazing. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's, let's get back to this. Say that, that looks gorgeous. You go look at that while I'm, I'm doing the video. This is, see, go status. Get it done on the spot. So right now we're down at City Hall. If you didn't know, I'm actually the co-founder of Jumping Jack Tax, a black-owned tax franchise. And so, hold on, let me pull her in right now. Look, our franchisee is here from Houston. And she's actually expecting, talk about boss mom goals. So we actually have our franchisees fly into town. We create content. And so usually I'm more like behind the camera with Jumping Jack Tax, really focused on the look and, and the directing side of things, making sure that we get the shot. And most importantly, make her feel amazing and confident enough to do this thing called content. This looks easy to us, but this ain't normal to other people. So that's my job today. We're directing, doing a photo shoot, interview later. Um, so we're super busy. I gotta stop talking and actually go do my job. Hi, right, Dana, how are you? I'm blessed, how are you? It's so nice to see you. It's nice to see you. So we have this computer desk right here. Okay. Who um, is getting in this room? Is so, that for Tanya? So the thing is, remember, one of the brooms, and I'm not sure where the um, where the TVs were hung up, I wanted to ensure that if it was a room that couldn't fit a bookcase desk on it, that you had one that didn't go, uh, line up the wall. Does that make sense? Yes. So if you can go into one of the rooms, and if the bookcase won't fit because of where you had placed a TV and where the bed has to go, we want to make sure that there was still a desk in there, but it didn't have to scale up the wall.
energy is amazing. Christy, I'm so honored to be next to you right now. HBCU graduate of TSU, mother to be, and on your way to becoming the newest franchise owner as a woman. And this is just awesome. So with that being said, with all your fans here in the building, I want to know what your decision is. Um, what financial services franchise are you choosing today and why? Well, Don, it was a difficult decision. I thought about branching out on my own for a while, but also I know that you can't always do it by yourself, and then it's not always the best interest to do it by yourself. And I would like to help my community learn about the financial service industry and then also go back and teach about the financial services industry. Yes. So with that being said, I am choosing Jumping Jack Tax. Okay, so I found the. You don't have to um, okay, got you. So I found the shelving units that we talked about, the mm -hmm. inserts. Um, I found them. I just went ahead and sent you an email. So just that I prove it already right now, go ahead, take one of them entirely, um, delegate a l the least amount of space, and see how many we need, and then we'll just multiply it by how many we actually how many have. Need. Okay. Yeah, but All let's right. do that immediately before buying a whole nother unit, mm -hmm. because then it's just going to be way, it could, we could save money. Okay. Okay. Got you. Okay. Let me go figure that out. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 All right. So really quick. Um, we've had a long day. I know you had a long day specifically. Um, let's give this last little bit of energy we've got. Um, let's give it our all. Remember our potential customers are watching this potential. Your colleagues, your future, you know, franchisees are going to be seeing this and we want them to have a great impression, not like, oh crap, I don't ever want you to look back at content like, crap, I was really tired. Let's fake it, we do what we gotta do, we make it happen. Let's have bomb energy and keep it up. It's only gonna be about 20, 25 minutes. Okay. Um, and there's no right answers. This is all about you and kind of your story. So don't be afraid you're gonna answer something incorrectly if you're like, hold on, you know what, let me think about that. That's okay too, don't feel pressured to answer something like, you know, yeah. I want this to be graceful. <laughs> What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Franchise Signing Day. I need to know everything, who and the what and the where I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. I'm curious, George, I hop in the Porsche, with five and a horse, I'm ready for war, I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost, I need to know everything. Now you'd be surprised at the info you get is by letting them talk, so I'm letting them talk. So a lot of the time, when you want to check out somebody's work. It's not about what's on the outside, it's what's about on the inside. So you want to look at those little details that they could completely just skip over because no one's going to look, like the buyer's not going to look at the details like under the sink, how much of a mess they left, like just the little intricate things like almost in a sense like cleaning up a transition or a cut. Like you could have, but you just didn't. You know what I mean? Your lack of care. So if you look under here, looking at all this stuff, like that shouldn't be there. It's just messiness that's unnecessary. You get what I'm saying? And they always look at these seals. You ever looked at somebody's house and this is just all jacked up? These little seals and it's like peeling up and stuff like that. But of course there's no wear and tear at the moment. Maybe even looking at this when you're looking at the contractor. Because the thing is, is of course when you're spending your money, you're looking at the details, right? When you come in and do a tour like this and you're looking at it, you don't think about anything. But the second that you're spending your own money, you're going ahead and like, hey, why is that crooked? Why is there paint all that? Why is that not clean? You know what I mean? So you have to look at that kind of stuff. I need to know everything, who and the what and the where I need everything Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me I'm curious, George, I hop in the Porsche, with five and a horse, I'm ready for war I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost, I need to know everything I need to know everything, who and the what and the where I need everything Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me That's a wrap for being out and about, but we still have to go home and be parents And have to cook salmon tacos for dinner if you want to come over van um and probably a little bit more computer work because since today was such a heavy content day we got to do absolutely no administrative work you know what i mean so i have emails to answer uh, meetings tomorrow's a big sale day at crawl bible every friday um so just have to get that situated head up my team and see what we're doing but what i love is and i think um i was just talking to um 
I forget who I was talking to about this, but how important it is that when you're building infrastructure in a team and a business, are you building a team that continues to stress you out? Or are you building a team that can go and make it happen with and without you actually walking them through and babysitting? And my team is freaking phenomenal. I freaking love those girls. They're absolutely amazing. Together, we are a force, but when they are by themselves, they still can execute and get done. And I think that's a testament to just having great energy and knowing that I'm proud of them. Um, and I love them. Every time I get back, it's something new. And I don't know, I'm ready. But today, I'm done being out in the field. I definitely usually end my night off when Kingston is asleep on the computer answering emails. Were you able to get any emails? How many emails do you think you got in your inbox? Well, I kind of knocked all my things down yesterday, so I think I probably got about 50. And about 30 of them are like review emails, not something I have to yeah, respond back to. So. Yeah, I have uh, to talk with China for tonight. So usually I don't schedule my calls for China till like 10 o'clock because that's their 12 so like at their 10 a.m. over there so anyway this was half honestly I could say this is probably half because our actual like morning starts at 5 a.m. and we have our first like finance meeting um, but this is you got to see a day and the like a work day what a work day looks like for Dana Chanel and the team See, kind of like I serve in different capacities and stuff like that, but I still gotta get the content done. I love making content in real time. You can see my outfit is the same and just making sure we're at it every single day. I believe that no one is going, no, right now, the reason we're winning is because the amount of effort that we put in, no one is outworking us. Like I can honestly say, I have one of the most high impact, efficient teams that there is and we're running while we know that we have an edge up, while we know that there is uh, power and we're building equity just in our effort. Man, if this is all that we gotta do is work hard, we got that, that can happen. We've worked harder for people who didn't care about us, so I'm just like, I'm ready. I'm excited, but I just wanna share a little, a little insight, so. And uh, just to share some great news. Boy. Uh, somebody's ready to sign up for the accountability program that we just launched. Yay, we'll tell you guys more about that, but we just launched an accountability program yeah, with Jumping just, Jack Tax, so. She just emailed me and said somebody's ready to proceed. What do I do? Like so. Yeah. See, it's little things like that. Like this is what we do it for: creating new programs and new initiatives and, and 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 products and services to serve our community. So, you guys will hear about that. But we're out of here. I've been trying to end this for a couple minutes. Dana's probably like, "Shut up, Dana, shut up." But we're out of here, and we are going home to our baby who doesn't feel good. So I gotta go. I can't talk to you guys anymore. Thank you. Comment, like, subscribe if you have any questions. How do I keep my energy? I had literally just a sip of coffee and then I lost it. It, it was somewhere else. But I gotta go. Bye. Love you guys. I'm in a big league.